five pack that I had mentioned before out of Palmdale, California. And there is the elusive 69 Yanko Camaro. Haven't seen it by itself. And as a matter of fact, I have all of these already. Which I'm either going to put up for sale. Or I'm going to maybe modify the ones I have. Maybe I'll trade them. As you can see, Tokyo Drift. Fast and Furious 67. It's funny. It says the Fast and the Furious 67 Mustang, but it's actually Tokyo Drift. Same with that. Fast Five, the Porsche. Too Fast, Too Furious, the Skyline, and of course, Too Fast, Too Furious, the Yanko Camaro. Although it says 69 Camaro, it does not say Yanko. But that's alright. I noticed the, the Monte Carlo has different wheels in this pack versus the one I have in the single pack. And the paint on this Mustang is glittery. Compared to the one I have in the single pack. Another one for the wall. Stay tuned for the next ones. Alright, so we got a couple more packages then come in. And uh, let's get to opening these here. So we have Brian's S15 from the end of the uh, Fast and Furious movies. Looks like it's missing a few decals that would be on there. But uh, other than that, it's a pretty cool looking car. It's got the real riders on it. Looks like a metal base. All right. Add that one to the pile that we've already collected. And the other one had to put a fresh blade on this thing. Open too many packages with it. Ah, oh, nice. This one is the 91 Mercedes-Benz G-Class. And uh, this one, you briefly see it and I believe it's number 7. It was in the airplane in the cargo hold. Pretty cool car. It's got real riders on it as well. Plastic base. I like those. A couple new additions. I'm gonna stay tuned for more. All right, so we got another package in, and yes, it's going to be a Fast and Furious car. If you're sick of the Fast and Furious stuff, just turn away, shut the video off, and go look at somebody else's video, because this one is all about that. Ah, oh, great, packing peanuts. Let me take it out here. So we have... The RX-7 from the first movie. This is uh, this is the one the guy was driving that raced Letty at Race Wars. So we got plastic wheel, plastic bottom. I don't understand how some of the cards say what movie it's from and some don't. And it's funny to me that they just released this one, right? This is 2018. And this was from the first movie. On the back of the card, you can see they got the, one of the newest movie cars in there. Also, the Mitsubishi from the second movie. Grand National from, God knows, I think it was the fourth one. Monte Carlo from the third one. 
Nissan Z from the third one. Makes no sense whatsoever. But there we have it. One more video on Fast and Furious. All right, so here's another package. This one's out of Florida. And we have the Lycan Hypersport. Now this one's a Jada. Seems that Jada and Greenlight made the Fast and Furious cars that Hot Wheels didn't make. So couldn't find that in a Hot, in a Hot Wheels. And that's just too cool of a car to not have. It also comes with a Toyota Supra that you put together, the white one. Which I'm just going to sneak out of the package there. Although I don't see a Supra inside. All I see is a set of wheels. We'll see what that's all about. I guess you have to collect a whole bunch of them to put the car together. Whatever. That's not going to happen. But, got the Lycan Sport. Hyper Sport. And this one is out of North Carolina. Let's see what we've got here. Ah, the Downhill Buggy. This one was in, I think, number eight, seven, seven, something like that. It wasn't camo. It was like a... Matte black, which is what it's going to be once I pull it out of here, repaint it, and put it back in. But, there we go. Pretty awesome. Alright, we've got a few more of the Fast and Furious cars I purchased coming in. Let's get to it. Oh, don't cut my hand there. This one's from Lemon, South Carolina. Bam! That's the Lamborghini Murcielago. Roman's car that he drove on the ice like a dumbass. This is a pretty nice paint job on it, though. It's got a lot of metallic in there. You'd expect, with the paint job like that, for it to have at least real riders, but uh, whatever. We can always swap out the wheels. Up next... This one came from Suffern, New York. Oh, yeah. This one is the International MXT that Hobbs was driving in number 7, I believe. That's badass right there. I like that. All right. Next one. This one came from Medina, Ohio. Ohio! Uh, I've gotten one from this person before. It's nice to see he continuously packs them the same way. Protected from rain, sleet, and snow. And we have the Mercedes AMG, which was also in number, I believe this was number eight. It's a blue card, but uh, nonetheless, another Fast and Furious car. All right, moving on. All right, so we have a couple more packages. Bam! This one was from Compton, California. We have the 69 Torino Talladega. Some very glittery paint. I don't know if that picks up on camera, but... Very nice. 
Oh, why couldn't they put real riders on it? You went that far with the paint. Come on now. So that's one down. Okay, that's stupid. Why would you put it in a bag if it's in a box? I swear, some people don't have brains. There's a lack of brains in this country. Two forty SX. Oh, nice. Blisters kind of open. Love how they don't mention that before you buy it. Couple more packages here. This one's from Simi Valley, California. Why do people wrap boxes? I'll never understand this. So retarded. It's already in a box. You can just write the address right there. But ow. Sweet Lamborghini. Of course, the wheels don't match the car or what's on the card there. They are real writers. It's got some nice paint on there. It's a sweet Lambo. All right. Let's see what else we got. This one's from Idaho Falls, Idaho. Nice. So we have the Land Rover Defender. Got real riders as well. That's a really nice looking Land Rover. I like that. Might have to buy a second one of these just to tear one out of the package and do a little custom to it. Alright, so on to the next. Couple more. This one is from. Can't read it. Massachusetts. The uh, disinfectant spray kind of dissolved the name on the package there. Alright, so this is the RX-7 from the second movie. Pretty nice. I'm sure that wasn't the wheels that were on it, but at least it has real riders on it. I think that's my one beef with Hot Wheels. If you're going to make something, try and make it more accurate than they are. Because they really kind of missed on a lot of these Fast and Furious cars. So this one's from Galeon, Ohio. Yeah, great. Popcorn. Got the peanuts in here. See if we can open this without screwing up the package here. And the Mercedes. The G Class 91 Mercedes. It's a pretty cool one. Got the real riders on it.
And we have the White Gallardo from movie number six. Just has the regular plastic wheels. Pretty nice though. And there you have it. So that's going to be it for a little while. I'm purchasing any more Fast and Furious die cast. Uh, there's still a handful of cars I'd like to get. But due to this virus that's going around all over, there is a problem that's starting up with shipping taking longer. And sometimes some places can't ship out right away. So... I'll be taking my time finding and selecting and purchasing the last remaining cars that I want to get. But I appreciate you all watching. Stay tuned for upcoming builds. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.